Benghazi bombshell, Team Hillary caught hiding something huge. A convoy of heavily armed terrorists charged into a complex hosting the American consulate in Libya around 4 p.m. on September 11, 2012. The attackers were well armed and well organized. They were equipped with AK 47s, rocket propelled grenade launchers, and vehicle mounted artillery. However, when then Secretary of State Hillary Clinton first publicly discussed the attack, which resulted in the deaths of four Americans, she neglected to mention any terrorists. Instead, she blamed a YouTube video. According to Clinton, inflammatory material posted on the Internet spurred a protest which grew out of control. Yet, a recent report by Judicial Watch reveals that Clinton knew this was a terror attack and lied to the American people anyhow. Ambassador Christopher Stevens and U.S. Foreign Service Officer Sean Smith died in the attack on the compound while CIA contractors Tyrone Woods and Glenn Doherty were killed in a corresponding attack on a CIA annex in Benghazi. Government watchdog Judicial Watch filed a Freedom of Information Act FOIA, lawsuit requesting any and all records concerning, regarding, or related to notes, updates, or reports created in response to the September 11, 2012, attack on the U.S. consulate in Benghazi, Libya. The State Department complied after attempting to withhold the information and released a series of documents to Judicial Watch revealing that top officials in the State Department close to Clinton were discussing an attack on the Benghazi compound while the Obama administration was adamant this was merely a protest. In fact, the only reference to a spontaneous protest or inflammatory video was in Clinton's official statement. The first email discussing the Benghazi attack was sent at 4.07 p.m. on September 11, 2012 from the Ops Alert at State.gov email account announcing, the regional security officer reports the diplomatic mission is under attack. Tripoli reports approximately 20 armed people fired shots, explosions have been heard as well. Ambassador Stevens, who is currently in Benghazi, and 4COM, chief of mission personnel are in the compound safe haven. By 6.06 p.m., the State Department confirmed, Ansar al-Sharia claims responsibility, for the terror attack. The 4.07 p.m. email was sent to numerous Hillary Clinton aides including then-Chief of Staff Cheryl Mills, then-Deputy Chief of Staff for Policy Jacob Sullivan and Clinton's executive assistant Joseph McManus. Ambassador Stevens' death was confirmed early in the morning on September 12, 2012. A 3.22 a.m. email confirms, Embassy Dribbly confirms the death of Ambassador John C. Chris, Stevens in Benghazi. His body has been recovered and is at the airport in Benghazi. Yet, two hours after this email, Clinton's assistant Jacob Sullivan told officials at the State Department not to forward to anyone at this point. The cover-up was in effect. These emails leave no doubt that Hillary Clinton's closest advisers knew the truth about the Benghazi attack from almost the moment it happened, offered Tom Fitton, president of Judicial Watch. And it is inescapable that Secretary of State Hillary Clinton knowingly lied when she planted the false story about inflammatory material being posted on the Internet. The contempt for the public's right to know is evidenced not only in these documents but also in the fact that we had to file a lawsuit in federal court to obtain them," Fitton continued. The Obama gang's cover-up continues to unravel, despite its unlawful secrecy and continued slow rolling of information. Congress, if it ever decides to do its job, cannot act soon enough to put Hillary Clinton, Cheryl Mills, and every other official in these emails under oath. As time passes and more information surfaces, the attacks in Benghazi continue to point to Clinton's culpability in the matter. May the souls of the dead have mercy on her. On her.